도움을 줄까 하는 이런 일을 한 거죠. And he simply did the work and just thought to himself, what can I do for other clients or the customers that come into them? 일본을 왔다 갔다 하는 사람인데 큰 기업인데 당신이 나이가 많은데 어떻게 여기를 앉아 있냐 이렇게 물어봅니다. One client who was a big conglomerate who traveled back and forth from Japan to Korea came and said, saw him and said, "You're such a, you're so much older. How are you holding this job?" 그렇게 설명을 한 겁니다. And so he started to explain 아, himself. 그 사람 감동을 받았어요. And so this person was very moved by his story. 에, 그 운전수가 말이야, 그걸 그걸 다 이제 이 공부를 해가지고 이렇게 올라간 겁니다. How he was promoted to the seat right now uh, when he first started as a driver. 그리고 이 기업주는 뭐 간단합니다. 이 사람 통해가지고요. 자기 큰 재산을 맡긴 거예요. So this client who owned a very big company gave all of his and uh, gave all his money and um, to that bank. 대한민국에서 최고 액수고 나. And he gained the the highest numbers in the in the Republic of Korea. 어, 이 사람이 그 다음 해요. 지점장 발령 났어요. Later on, he became one of the branch managers. 글을 썼더라고요. And then he wrote out. Uh, and I wrote what he wrote out. Wow, 그렇게구나 말이죠. And I thought to myself, that's right. 그 여러분 아시다시피 어떤 젊은 사람이 그 어떤 노인이 병든 노인이 햇빛을 나. You know, one person. It was a young man who saw this older man always just sitting, kind of sunbathing. 그래서 아, 자기 부모님 생각이 나. And while he was sitting down in the in the sun, he he realized and he thought about his parents. 매일 같이 퇴근하면 와서 할아버지하고 얘기한 거. And so he was reminded of his parents. So every day after work, he would come and sit down with that grandfather and started to talk with him. 도와주고. He would help him, encourage him, give him help. It was really nothing. But this grandfather really liked this young man. And they became friends. In America, it doesn't matter how old you are, you can be friends if you're. And so this teenager was maybe 18 years old, was carrying, uh, taking this grandfather around, say that this was his friend. And so this 80 year old and this young man became friends and they would share this conversation. But this grandfather one day had passed away. Of course, he was older in his age, so he suddenly passed away. And he was invited to his funeral because they were friends. But this grandfather turned out to be the owner and the CEO of Coca-Cola that is inside of 229 countries. 유언장에 이 친구에게 내 재산 몇 프로를 주라. And in his will, he wrote out to this friend of mine, give so and so percent percentage of my inheritance. 그 돈이 어마어마한 겁니다. And that small percentage was a very large amount of money. 이상 너무 어마어마해서 그 돈을 대학에다 갖다. And it was such a big sum of money that he gave and donated to all the universities. It's not that he did something grand. But you, when you have time, you rather than doing the work of reviving others, you do the work of killing them or killing yourself. A couple of years ago, Remnant was in so much turmoil that he wrote me a letter. And as he said, he said, Pastor, I shouldn't say these things to you, but my mom is a pastor's wife, my dad is a pastor, and they, they attack me and they make my life so difficult. 이 좋은 말씀을 듣고 복음을 완전히 율법으로 뒤바꿔 가지고 너무 괴롭힌다. And they hear this good news of the gospel and they turn completely turn around to legalism and they make my life so bad. 우리 어머니가 미국에 한달 캠프 갔는데 없는 동안에 집안에 평화가 감돌고. And my mother, she went out for training for a month and there was peace that just overflowed in my house. 내가, 내가 막 살맛이 나는데 어떻게 하면 좋겠냐? And he said, what should I do, Pastor? I feel like living when she's not here. And so I responded saying, there must be a plan of God for you. We have to revive ourselves first. And we have to revive ourselves first, and yet we do the things that actually does the opposite. And we already saw this on the news. And we already saw this on the news. 
There was a city in Ginza in Japan that raised up a very beautiful building. 그 한가운데 옛날 집이 하나 있는 거예요. But in the middle where they're trying to construct this building, there was this one old house. 알아봤더니 옛날 집 이제 주인이 괜찮게 사는 할머니요. And the owner of the house was a grandmother who lived a very good life. 그리 이제 뭐이 회사 가서 말이 아무리 팔아도 안 팔아. And this company would go and talk with her, trying to sell off her home and her land, but she wouldn't. 돈은 몇 배를 주겠다. And said, "Oh, we'll, we'll double or triple amount the money to give you." And she said, "No." And they asked her, "Why aren't you selling your home?" And she said, "There's no reason for me to do it." You know, this is my home. Why should I sell it? But because of your home, we're not able to construct our building. And she said, "No, I'm not going to sell my home." And so the owner of this company said, "We'll give you ten folds for this land." And she said, "No, I don't want to sell. I have no reason to sell my home." He said, "I'll come a little bit later. Please come to terms with this and please sell your land." And she said, "Okay." This 할머니가 삼일까지 못 기다려요. 자기가요. 이, 이, 알지? 삼일도 안 됐는데. 내가 가서 얘기한다 안 판다고 가서 so 사올 she, 필요 없다. This grandmother, she said, I don't have to wait three days for him to, you know, because I already know in my heart that I'm not going to sell it. 그날 따라 말이죠. 눈이 왔는데 이 할머니 가면서 얼마나 귀찮든 눈에 빠지고 말이요. 왜 내가 이 짓을 해야 되나 무슨 그걸 해서 찾아온 거요. And so she went to, she was finding her way to the building or to the company, and it was raining very hard that day, and she was falling over, and she was just so frustrated. Why am I doing this? 3일 후에 만나게 되는데 이 할머니가 지금 자기 혼자 먼저 오니까 다른데 일단 안내를 못 하잖아요. And think about it. They were supposed to meet three days later, but she wanted to go beforehand and tell them that she wasn't going to sell it, and so people couldn't come and help her. 그리 이 할머니가 막 신발도 다 버리고 막 이래가지고 지금 그 집에. And so her shoes were ruined, and she finally got to the company owner's home. But it was when she got to that company's home or that owner's home, there was this one worker, and the female worker asked her, "How did you come here?" And she said, "I came here to meet with the owner." And she asked, "When did you appoint to meet with the owner?" And the grandma she just said, "I just came to meet with him." And she saw that her shoes were ruined and her feet were very wet. 그러니까 얼른 그 얼음 말 벗기고 자기가 신고 있는 그 슬리퍼를 탁 두고 신으라고. And so she immediately told the grandmother to take off her shoes and she took off her slippers and gave it to the grandmother. 이 주방으로 사장방을 있는 안내를 하는데 이 아가씨가 말이요 그걸 다 부추겨서 안내라. And then while she was leading her to the house, she had carried that grandmother and leaned her and walked her inside the home. 이 할머니 마음이요 오분 안에 바뀌기 시작. This grandmother, in five yeah. minutes alone, her heart started to change. 내가 오늘도 모른 이 정도 직원 같으면은 사장이 얼마나 괜찮은 사람이겠냐. They didn't even know that I was coming to visit them, and yet this female worker is so kind to me in this way. They don't even know who I am. Then how good is the owner? 파는 게나 그냥 가지고 와라. And so rather than just selling her, she said, "Just simply take it. I don't need it." 신문 나고 그랬어요. And so that came out as an article on the newspaper. 여러분 가운데서는 이 세신자들이 하, 나는 어떻게 신앙을 해야 될지 모르겠다. 그런 분도 있을 겁니다. Amongst you there are some new believers and I'm sure that you're thinking to yourself, I don't know how to live my walk of faith. 혹은 낙심자도 있을 겁니다. And I'm sure there are people who are also in despair. 낙심해서 뭐 어떻게 될지 모르겠다. And because you're so dismayed, you don't know what's going to happen. 또 어떤 사람은 실패자도 있을 겁니다. And I'm sure amongst you there are failures as well. 진짜 실패인데 어떻게 합니까? Oh, I'm really in failure. What can I do? 또 어떤 사람은 막 그보다 더 심한 막 고통당. Or there are some people who are even more distressed or more turmoil than that. 뭐 어떻게 운내가 막큰 범죄를 해서 내가 너무 고통당. Or maybe some people are going through some kind of difficulty because they committed a crime. There are cases like this that are happening. But in these moments, if you just let things be, then you will always go through these difficulties in your own life. Today, holding on to the important covenant, you have to come to a very important resolution. Today, you have to come to a very Today you have to change your three things. 그 첫째는 뭡니까? What is the first? 오늘 본문을 보면은 <웃음> 완전히 신분을 뒤바꿔. Today, if you look at the passage, we have to change our status. 사절 오절에 여러분의 생일은 언제입니까? Then in verse four and five, when is your birthday? Verse four and five. 어떤 사람은 세례 받을 때 다는데 그것도 아닙니다. Some people say it's the day that I receive my baptism, but that's not so. 
창세 전에 그리스도 안에서 우리를 택하사. Verse 4 for he chose us in him before the creation of the world. 창세 전에 우리를 하나님이 그리스도 안에서 택하사. For he chose us in Christ before the creation of the world. 그래서 우리의 생일은 똑같습니다. 하나님이 창세 전에 벌써 택하사. And so our birthday is the same from the very beginning from the creation of the world he has chosen us. 예, 하나님의 자녀되는 신분을 바꿔 버립니다. And so we he has changed our status to become his children. 이 언약을 여러분이 실제로 잡으셔야 됩니다. So this covenant you must realistically hold on to. 자, 가정에 너무 큰 어려움이 왔어요. There's so much difficulty inside the home. 이 어려움이 가정입니다. 그렇죠? And the hardship in the most most hardship is inside of the home, isn't it so? And the family problems that arise is not something that you should control on your own. That's the hardest thing ever. If it's some kind of animal, then you could just sell them off, but you can't even do that with your family members. And some people, if they don't want to continue raising their dogs, some people will do things as eating them. But we see that Joseph, because of his family, he went through such great hardship. And when his father wasn't looking, his brothers would go try to threaten him, trying to kill him and beat him up. It was at this time when he truly was praying to God that he gave him a very important answer. It wasn't in any other covenant. 나는 육신적으로 여기에 살지만은 내 신분은 하나님의 자녀야. I may be physically living here, but my spiritual status is that I am a child of God. 이걸 딱 확인해. He was able to confirm that. 이때부터 모든 게 이제는 다르게 보입니다. It was from that point on that he saw everything else in a different light. 예, 눈이 달라져야 돼요. His, your eyes, your perspective has to change. 굉장히 축복 와 있는데 이걸 축복이라고 모르는 거예요. And if your eyes do not change, then even if blessings come, you can't recognize it as a blessing. 그 사람은 영하고 싶을 때도 아이고 저 정도 축복 받았으면 나 같으면 하나님 앞에 막 감사 연발해야 되는데 연발로. And there are many people who look at one person and say, "If I was like that, I'll be praising God for all the thanksgiving as He has given to me." But there are some people who are completely blind to the that. John Wesley, 동생 Charles Wesley, 이렇게 말했습니다. John Wesley's little brother Charles Wesley said this. 만 입이 네개 있으면. Even if I had ten thousand lips. 만약에 입이 네개 만개 있다면. Even if I had, if I had ten thousand lips. 그입다 가지고. He says, with all those lips. 여호와의 주신 은총을 늘 찬송하겠다. I will always praise of God's love for me. And so that's the hymn that Charles Wesley had written. 한 개가 없잖아요. 한 개밖에 없는데 입이 만개 있어도 그 입을 가지고 하루 종일 여호와의 은총을 찬송하겠다. And of course we don't have ten thousand lips, but if we did, then with all those lips we'll praise the Lord God all day long for His love for us. 입한 개밖에 없는데 하루 종일 불신 얘기하잖아요. And all we have is one lips, and with that all day long we go and share unbelief. So it's very simple. 그래서 이런 분들 이렇게 이 여러분 아시다시피 팔십이 될 때까지도요. And just as you know very well, Moses, until he was even 80 years old, he had no answers. But it's nothing else. He finally restored his status as a child of God on the Mount of Horeb. Today, you must surely restore this. This is different. Your eyes start to change. 모세가 막 하루하루가 괴로운 거예요. Before Moses, every day was such a difficult time for him. 아니 이 언약을 붙잡고 나니까 하루하루가 기적이요. But at the soon as he held onto this covenant, every single day was a day of a miracle. That's how much he changed. So look at the remnants in the Bible. 여러분 사무엘 다윗이 어릴 때 이걸 발견해요. From the very young age, Samuel and David come. They are able to confirm this. 사무엘은 정말 유치원 때, 다윗은 청소년 때. Sam had discovered this when he was just a pre-K or a kindergarten, and then also David. He realized this when he was a youth. Of course, I am a child to my physical family, but I am a child of God in a spiritual sense. And so their eyes to to perceive everything started to change. 형들은 보는 눈이 달라요. 하나님의 자녀 가치보다는 
그냥 이세의 아들이라 이게 더 자랑스럽고. The eyes of the brothers were different. Rather than having the the value of the eyes of having being a child of God, their um, value being a child of Jesse was greater. 여러분이 이 신분에 대한 발견입니다. 그러고 난 뒤에 뭐가 따라옵니까? And so it is the 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 discovery of your status. After that, what's next? 신분 따라서 권세가 와요. Authority and power comes after 그렇죠. your status. When you become king, then you follow. What follows is the authority of the king. In the passage today, it says, "What kind of authority did he give to us?" It says, "It was the Paul who became an apostle by the power of God." 너희에게 은혜와 평강이 있기를 원하노라. The apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and he says that peace from to you. 은혜는 평강한 결과입니다. And so we see that peace is the result that God gives to us. 삼 절에 이렇게 말했어요. And then in verse three it says this. 하늘에 속한 모든 신령한 복을 주시려고 너희들을 택하시다. He says that God, He has called us to bless us in the heavenly realms. Why? You need to know this. Why did God say that He will bless us with the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing inside of Christ? This is so important. You have to know the reason why He blessed you in order to enjoy these blessings. Why did God call us who are simply sinners, called us out from that and then wanted to bless us with the heavenly realms? This is Ephesians chapter 1. And then when does he does do this? It says that he already did this for us when he chose us in him before the creation of the world. We can't understand this. We must be able to comprehend this, but without this, you cannot receive these answers. Oh, but I was born on this year, so and so, but it says that I have been called from creation, before creation. 하나님이 허감을 꺾고 빛을 창조하실 때 이미 여러분을 선택하셔서 놀라운 일이죠. When God destroyed the light and He allowed light to come in from the before creation, God has called us. 왜 이렇습니까? But why is this so? 여러분이 당하는 고통과 어려움은 하나님 주신 이 보장 아니고는 해결이 안 돼요. The suffering and the problems that you go through without the power of God, you cannot solve these problems. 그것도 칠절 팔절에. And then, in, and then in verse 7 and 8 it says to be dances with the riches of God's grace. And then he has called us of the things of the heavens and the earth and he has called us with his grace. And it says for the goodness is in accordance with the riches of God's grace. So what does this all mean? Why did God give us these blessings? There are three reasons He has given this to us. Number one. 하나님의 구절에 이런 말씀이 있어요. In verse 9 it says this. 그리스도의 때를 따라 찬 경륜을 위해서 너희를 예정했다. He made us know the mystery of his will accordance to his good pleasures which is he purposed inside of Christ. 이게 뭡니까? But what does this mean? 근본적인 해결과 그 능력을 주기 위해서 너희를 부르다. He has called you to give you this fundamental solution and this power. 그리스도의 때를 찬 경륜이 아니고는 해결할 수가 없다. Because unless it is the According to the purpose inside of Christ, you cannot solve these problems. What is the reason behind that? 강대국 나라들이 전부 하나님 모르니까 전쟁과 너무 너무 위험한 어림 속에 지금 빠져 있습니다. The powerful nations, without knowing God, they are always raising up wars, and they are in such difficult and very dangerous places. 아닙니다. It was in an uproar. 강대국이 서기만 하면 전쟁을 일으켜서 온 세계를 어지르. And whenever there was a powerful nation that rose up, they raise up wars, and they make the entire world into a place of turmoil. 아무도 무슨 말도 모르는 거야. 중국, 미국, 뭐 일본, 이제 러시아, 중국. We don't know what's going to arise with the United States, with China, with Japan, with Russia. And that's why God has called you. And I've given you the blessings for the heavens and the earth to become one. We can't really understand this. And because of Satan, I have called you and chosen you before creation. But I understand these words. Isn't this so? I understand these words. That's right. 
왜 우리 집 이런 문제가 있을까? 아무도 모릅니다. Oh, why do these problems arise in my family? Nobody knows. 하나님의 일을 창세 전에 벌써 선택을 했다는 이 말은 굉장히 중요한 말. But the fact that God has called you before creation is some very important words. 후진국은 그걸 모르고 그게 붙잡혀서 온 나라의 노예로 흩어지고 지금 이런 상황이. Without knowing these, these weak nations, they are being sold off as slaves and being scattered throughout the world. 이때 이스라엘은 종로로 됐어. And it was at that time that the Israelites were working as slaves. 노예로 끌려. They were taken off as slaves. 포로로 끌려. And then they were colonized, taken captive. 빨리 캐치해야 돼. And this is the work of the Holy Spirit. You have to quickly catch on to this. 저 속국으로 유랑민으로. And then they were colonized and they were taken off as wanderers. 속국된 건 이해돼요. And so being captives, I understand. 이 he wrote this book because he knew that the Israelites, in a little bit later, they will be taken off as wanderers, as soldiers. Our posterity, they will see 그렇죠? a tremendous time of crisis. 그래서 이 어마어마한 근본 문제를 해결할 능력을 지금 회복해라. And so he's saying, right now, restore this power, this fundamental power, to solve this problem. 더 시급한 게 있습니다. But there's something even more urgent than this. 더 시급한 해결에서 이게 두 번째 이겁니다. And this is a second reason to solve what is most urgent. 바울은 이 편지를 로마 감옥에서 쓴 겁니다. When Paul wrote this letter, he wrote this inside the prison of Rome. 뭡니까? What does that mean? 가이사 앞에 쓰야리라는 로마 감옥에서 쓴 거예요. He wrote this in the prison of Rome when he knew he was supposed to stand trial before Caesar. 여러분이 가진 믿음이 아무것도 아닌 것처럼 보이지만은 로마를 정복하게 될 것이다. And it seems like your faith may be nothing at all, but that faith will go and conquer Rome. 또 중요한 거. And then what else is important? 이것은 에베소에 보낸 편지입니다. This is a letter that he wrote for Ephesus. 에베소는 뭐였습니까? And then what was there in Ephesus? 전 지역을 흑암에 빠뜨리는 아데미 신상 큰게 있어요. There was a great shrine that was sitting in the town of Ephesus that was bringing everybody into idolatry and curses. 그 에베소를 건지기 위해서 너를 불렀다. And he says to bring out Ephesus out of that calamity, God has called you. 근본적인 사단의 근세를 꺾도록 창세전에 너를 선택했다. And before creation of time, He has called you to completely destroy the fundamental curses. We have to understand these words. 어떤 집에는요 영적 문제 와서 온 식구들이 정신 이상 다 아프리고. Some families they go through so much spiritual problems that the entire family is in mental de- uh, diseases. 그러니까 이해가 안 되잖아요. And you can't really understand or fathom that. 창세전에 너를 선택을 했다. I have called you before creation of time. 이게 이해돼야 됩니다. 영세전에 이 복음이 준비됐다. You must understand this from before creation of the world. This gospel was prepared. 자, 이 편지가 언제 쓰인 줄 압니까? Do you know when this letter was written? 이게 중요해요. This is important. 주전 61년과 62년 사이에 쓴 겁니다. This was written before or between 8061 and 8062. 78년 후에 무슨 일이 났죠? And what happened about 7 8 years later? 이스라엘 멸망받습니다. We see that the Israelites were completely destroyed. 예루살렘 성전 무너집니다. And the Jerusalem temple was crumbled. 이스라엘의 후대들은 23개 나라로 처참하게 끌려갑니다. And we see that the posterity of the Israelites they were scattered into 20 some nations. 그 And before that, that was the message that he was given to us. So this is very important. 여러분이 오늘 어떤 언약을 굳게 붙잡아야 되느냐? 여러분은 근본 문제를 해결하신 하나님의 자녀로 부르신 것이다. And so what is the covenant that you must firmly hold on to is that God has called you as his children has completely destroyed all these fundamental problems. 지금 일어나는 시급한 문제. And then this is the urgent problems that are arising right now. 그래서 하늘에 신령한 모든 복을 주시려고 부르다. And he has called you so that he could give you all the blessings of the heavenly realm. 이게 이해가 됩니까? Do you understand this? 이걸 오늘 여러분이 이해하고 언약으로 잡으셔야 돼요. You must understand these words today and grab hold of it as your covenant. 그러면 여러분이 당하고 있는 모든 고난과 모든 문제들이 전부 응답으로 뒤바뀐 역사나. Then all the problems and the sufferings that you go through today, they'll all change and completely change into blessings. 이게 무슨 이유입니다. That's the reason God has called you. 에베소서 이 설명을 하고 있는. And we see that explanation in the book of Ephesians. 더 시급한 이유가 있어요. But there's even a more urgent region, reason. What is that? 하나님이 이 복음을 여러분이 회복해라는 겁니다. It's that God is telling you to restore this gospel. 
이스라엘은 지금 복음이 완전히 없어졌습니다. For the Israelites, the gospel has completely disappeared. It's the same as today. 복음 완전히 없어졌습니다. The gospel has disappeared. 왜 재앙이 임하는지도 알지 못하고. And they're not able to understand why disasters are coming upon them. 여러분 진짜 언약 잡으셔야 됩니다. You must truly hold on to the covenant. 전 세계 후대들에게 영적 문제 어마어마하게 임하고 있다. 왜 완전도 모르고. Tremendous spiritual problems are covering upon our posterity, and they don't even know the reason why these problems are coming upon them. 아니 뭐. 유대인 종교 지도자들이 몰라요. And even the leaders of the Jews do not know this reason. 그럼 어떻게 됩니까? Then what's going to happen? 이거 빨리 해보해라. We have to quickly restore <웃음> this. 여러분 이 언약은 붙잡기만 하면 역사. And works will arise if you simply just hold on to this covenant. 왜냐? Why? 성삼위 하나님께서 시공간 초월하는 보좌의 능력으로 임하기 때문에. 언약만 제대로 잡으면 역사를 납니다. The triune God will come upon us through His works of the 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 blessings and the powers of the throne that transcends time and space. So all you have to do is simply hold on to this and enjoy it. 세월이 많이 지나고 알 겁니다. You know we will come to know this after time has passed. 여러분의 가문과 여러분의 산업이 왜 있었는지 알게 될 겁니다. And you'll come to know why your family line and why your businesses had to exist. 사람 언제든 시간이 많이 지나서 한다니까. And most people they finally realize after time passes. 왜 우리가 교회를 건축하고 여기서 세 가지 뜰을 만들어야 되는지 시간이 많이 지나고 나면 알아. After a lot of time has passed, then we'll finally know why God has allowed us to construct this church building and build it with the three courtyards. 아 시간 지나고 알았다니까. And later, after time had passed, we realize. 저 무식한 갈릴리 사람들이 어떻게 세계 복음을 했는지. We finally found out 250 years later why these uneducated Galileans who shared the gospel what they did. 그동안 깨달은 사람 응답 누리고 나머지는 전부 고통이 다 저주로 봐. Those people who realized this, they enjoyed all those blessings, but everybody else who did not do that, they just suffered inside of these problems. 왜 지금 이걸 강조하는 거니까요? 한마디로 네가 받은 복음은 창세전에 준비된 거예요. Why is this being emphasized? Because in one word, this gospel has been prepared from before time of creation, and he did it for you. We have to understand this. 여러분이 태어나기도 전에 있었던 창세전의 문제가 지금 여러분의 가문을 파고 들었다 한 말이요. And so this problem from time of creation, before time of creation, it's coming through your families, and that's why all these problems in your families are arising. 그러니까. 아이 제자들이 모르고 제 예수님 물었잖아 요한복음 구장에 보면요 저 장애인이 자기 잘못입니까 부모 잘못입니까? And so without knowing the disciples of Jesus in John chapter nine, we'll go and ask him, is this blind man? Is it the fault of his parents or because of his sin? 왜냐 이 장세전이란 말을 이해를 못한 거예요. But why? Because they didn't understand what happens of the 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 concept of the problem that took place before time of creation. 아니 뭐 잘못이 있겠어요? Oh, did he become like that because of his sins? 아니 뭐 부모가 뭐큰 잘못 제자 제를 지었나 왜 그러냐? Or is it because of the sins of his parents? Why did this happen to him? This is what the disciples were asking Jesus. 자기 잘못도 아니요, 부모 잘못도 아니다. And so Jesus said, it's not this because of his sins, and it's not because of his parents. 하나님이 일이 있는 것이라. It was because God has a plan that He has intended for him. 창세전이란 말을. But how can they not understand this? These words of before time creation. 오늘 이 말을 알아들으셔야 돼요. Today you must understand this. 전국 세계 여러분들이 이 말을 알아들어야 진짜로 이제 응답이 뒤바뀌기 시작합니다. Disciples throughout the nation and the world, you have to completely understand these words for your problems to finally turn around. 여러분을 부르신 이유는 창세전부터 시작해서 영원까지 있는 문제를 해결하도록 이 복음을 주셨다. God has chose us before the creation of the world to give us this gospel and to also to solve this problem that was that existed before creation. 바울은 이 복음 말할 때. 감사 안 하고요. 찬송하리로다 이렇게 나오죠. And so when Paul spoke of this gospel, he didn't just give thanks. He said, "I praise to uh, give praise to God." 복음이 로마에서 완전히 없어질 거니까 이 복음을 붙잡아라. And said, "Hold firm to this gospel because this gospel will disappear in Rome one day." 잘 보면은 이 구원 못 받은 사람들은 가치가 없는 얘기 아닙니까 이게? If you look carefully to those who have not been saved, these are words. These words are very meaningless. 응답 못 받은 사람들은 뭔 얘기인지 싶은데 와닿지 않잖아요. To those who have not received salvation, it does not move them. It's valueless to them. 중요합니다. But this is so important. 오늘 여러분 인생 모든 문제 해결되는 날이 되기를 은약 잡으시길 바랍니다. May you hold on to this covenant that completely solves all the problems of your life. 이 단어가 이해됩니까? 창세전에 너를 택해서. Do you understand this word that he has created? He has chosen you before the creation of the world. 아니 저 외국에서 온 사람들, 저 아프리카에서 온 사람들, 하나님이 창세전에 너를 선택을 했어. 
of our multi-ethnic foreign um, disciples, all the way from Africa. God has called you from creation, before creation of the world. But this is the key from Ephesians chapter 1. People don't understand this. He's saying, simply hold on to this covenant because Jesus Christ, who has been prepared from be, uh, before the creation of the world, has completely solved the problems of sin and Satan that was upon your country. And so many people are losing hold of this. And again, we see that Rome lost hold of this. And of course, they have no choice but to lose hold of this. And after Christianity becomes a national religion of that um, country, again, humans are the same way. They always just look at, oh, it's so great, it's so lavish, but what is? That's the level that they're in. Oh, the king came to this church to give worship. That's what we're going to do too. Let's say that President Yoon of the Republic of Korea comes to our church and gives worship five times. We'll be in an uproar. That's what happened to Rome. And so these, and these conglomerates and these companies, they, it's not about the gospel. They thought to themselves, we have to come to our senses. And then later on, we say that the choir is not made up of people like you. They know that if you go there, you're going to make money. And then that church became a neighborhood of darkness. Back then we saw that the churches were, if you look in history, it was so strange. It was about who came to do the choir, who came to sing that day. Is that a church? That completely destroyed all the world. And so he said, block this. That's what he's trying to say. You one individual, you might seem like nothing, and yet you are the one who can block this curse and darkness. What's even more important? Right now we see that at the end of times the gospel will disappear. And then we'll see that even in laws. And they'll probably get rid of laws or into new laws that will not emphasize only Christianity. And they'll probably do that with the law as well. Oh, it can only receive receive salvation through Jesus. That will become a law that will come against you. And so we see that that's taking place even today. That's what will happen in the future. And so right now it might not be the law, but even in the United States, they don't speak about just Christ. You must remember this today. It says that he has chosen before the creation of the world. And so for Paul to realize these words, it is the working, truly working of the Holy Spirit. If that's so, holding on to this covenant, what must our new believers do? Our new believers, they might not know a lot about the truth. 그 여러분들이 과거에 있었던 걸 가지고 고난 당하지 말고 오늘 이 언약을 다 굳게 붙잡고 들어가세요. So rather than suffering constantly with your past, may you hold on to this covenant today and go in into your future. 낙심된 자들 어떻게 합니까? Then those who are in despair, what must you do? 새로 시작해야 돼. You have to start anew. 새로 시작하는 축복을 받으셔야 됩니다. Today you must gain the blessing of starting anew. 잘못된 사람 어떻게 합니까? How about those who did wrong? 하나님께 깨닫고, he says, go and repent before the Lord for your wrongdoings and start anew. That's what God desires. 이, 우리 기준, 이 것이가, and how great is this eternal blessing that God has given to us? We see this in um, at the first chapter of Ephesians. Then what is salvation? We'll speak more about that in our second service. 오늘, 전국 세계에 있는 모든 하나님의 사람들이 사람을 살리러 가는 자로 오늘 언약을 잡으시기 바랍니다. All the people of God throughout the nation of the world, may you go out holding on to the covenant to revive and save others. 여러분 한 명으로 가문, 현장, 직장, 산업 Oh, through you, one person, God will revive your family line, your businesses, your everything. 
다시 한번 보세요. And so look again very carefully. 여러분 한 명이 어떻게 나라를 살립니까? How can you one individual save your country? 그 축복을 예비했다는 거예요. And he says that, that blessing is already prepared. 요셉 혼자서 어떻게 애굽 살립니까? 예비했잖아요. How did Joseph save his entire nation? But he did. It was already prepared. 오늘 하루 종일 예배하는 중에 기도를 통해서 이 역사의 일들을 예수 그리스도 이름으로 축복합니다. I bless you, Lord Jesus Christ, that all day long you can enjoy this blessing. 하나님 오늘 중요한 언약을 잡는 날이 되게 해 주옵소서. Let us pray, Lord God, may we hold on to your important covenant today. 나를 살리고 사람 살리는 성도가 되게 해 주옵소서. May I be a believer that saves myself and saves others. 오늘 나를 살리고 회사를 살리는 자 되게 해 주옵소서. May I be an individual that saves my family and my business. 나를 살리는 가문과 국가를 살리는 자가 되게 해 주옵소서. May I be a person that saves my family, family line, and also my nation. 다른 것으로 죽어가는 종교와 교회를 살리는 자가 되게 해 주옵소서. May I be one that restores and revives all the other religions that are dying away and also all this world. 전국 세계 함께 예배하고 있는 하나님의 사람들에게. 오늘 이 축복이 전달되게 하옵소서. And to all the people that are giving worship with you through all the nation, may this blessing be relayed to all of them. 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도하옵나이다. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.
To God be the glory for the message that we have received for today. It's truly in everything God always remind us the accurate covenant that he had given unto us. So we hope and pray and put our faith that we will continue to restore the gospel in our lives within our 24 hours and be reminded why God called us. God, God called us to become his children and to destroy the fundamental problem. And be reminded and be it our guidance this week that God called us for us to truly hold on to the covenant, to revive ourselves, to save ourselves, and most especially, revive and save others. Amen? Amen. And for the announcement, let's pray for our school ministry for the school year 2023-2024. Let us pray for our pulpit pastor, admin staff, faculty, church co-workers, and remnant missionaries who are devoting their lives for this ministry. May three teams be established and may our school be the spiritual platform that saves the two, three, seven nations, bring healing to all fields and raises our remnants as summits. Let's pray for the Trovas Church and Wonju Mission Home as well as adjustment of the students who resolve to come to Philippines. Let's pray for our school ministry for the school year. Pray also. Let's pray for the arrival of our, our beloved pastor, Korean remnants, and remnant missionaries. Let's pray for the face-to-face -face class of the academic year 2023-2024 on August 29. The fourth worship will be at 4 p.m. And those who prepare their offerings through GCash, please communicate with Mom Lise. The GCash account number is 0915. 구원하신 이유를 아는 자들이 경배와 찬양과 예물을 드립니다. Those who know the reason why I have been called before creation of time have given worship and praise and all offerings to you. 영원까지의 이유를 아는 자들이 예물을 드렸습니다. And those who know the reason for eternity have given you their offerings. 하늘과 땅의 모든 것이 통일되게 하는 비밀을 주신 하나님께 그 이유를 알고 예물을 드립니다. And knowing the reason that Christ has given us the unity to all things in the heavens and earth under Christ have given their offerings to you. 당연히 빛의 경제 회복되게 없어서. May you rightfully restore the economy of light. 전도와 선교 경제가 회복되게 없어서. May the economy for evangelism and world missions be restored. 이제 성전과 후대 살릴 렘런드 경제가 당연히 회복되게 하옵소서. Rightfully, may you restore the economy of the remnants as well as the church constructions. 마음껏 교회에서 세계복음을 할수 있도록 하나님이 두 손들어 축복해 주옵소서. May you raise up both arms, Lord, and bless the church so that they could do world evangelization without the church and even more. 다민족이 와서 마음껏 쉴수 있도록 하나님 경제력을 허락해 주옵소서. Father God, may you allow us the economy and the power of the economy so that all the multi-ethnic disciples can come to the church and restore the gospel. Remnant들이 와서 미래를 볼수 있도록 그 성전을 짓게 해 주옵소서. Enough so to raise up the church construction so that remnants can come to the church and realize their future. 모든 문제 해결자이신 예수 그리스도의 은혜와. Now by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the solution to all problems. 하나님의 무한하신 사랑하신. And the endless love for Father God and the working of the Holy Spirit. 오늘 
창세전에 우리를 선택하신 그 이유를 알고 upon the heads of those who know the reason why we have been called before time of creation 모든 흑암을 깨뜨릴 하나님의 사람들 위해 upon the heads of those who will break down and destroy all the works of satan and darkness 완전히 복음 없어지며 교회가 없어지며 재앙이 넘치는 곳에 갈 증인들 위해 upon the heads of all your witnesses who will go in the midst of darkness upon all the world and all their fields 지금부터 영원까지 may you be with them both now 항상 함께 계실지어다. And always and forevermore. Amen. Take picture.